the early 1500s until the mid-1800s, the missions were the primary means by which the Spanish taught both Catholicism and the Spanish lifestyle to Native Americans, also referred to as Indians. In that time, Spanish culture and religion were an inseparable combination. By advancing these causes in Americas, the missionary priest hoped to Christianize the natives and the government hoped to gain new loyal subjects. On June 11, 1797, Padre Furman Francisco de la Suen founded Mission San Jose, 14th of the 21 Alta California missions at the site of the Ohlone village of Oyvars. In 1931, Mission Indians numbered about 1,886, comprised of the peaceful Ohlone and other nearby tribes. Today, the mission remains as a monument to the natives, the Padres, and to all of the events which helped to create the California of today. Please enjoy my video tour as we look back on our past here at Mission San Jose. This is a mission, not a small time thing. Hi, my name is Eric Pell, and today we're at San Jose Mission in Fremont, California. Let's see what this is about. Inside the Ohlone room are pre-mission Ohlone Indian artifacts. In this room, there is a nice selection of ceremonial items and tools that make up to large displays. The diorama depicts how an Indian village of the time lived. This is a mission, not a small top thing. The next room we're in is the Padre room. A typical Padre's room, cell, and Spanish contact. The Padre room displays items typical of those that the Spanish typically used and introduced to the areas they colonized. Here is an example of how hides were cut and then laced together to make garments. This is a mission, not a small top thing. The next one we're going in is sacred items. It is about church items from the mission period. Inside the sacred items room, there are church items from the mission period. Candles were used for many things, mostly for light but also for ceremonial uses. This is a mission, not a small top thing. And this room is the rancho. Lands were divided into, into ranchos after secularization. You will recognize many famous names. In this room, there are exhibits that show tools and items used in daily living in the rancho period. The Rancho Room also displays many pictures of these names of many pioneer families prominent in early California history. This room is, this is, is in the, the Indian's daily life at the mission. Inside the Indian life room are pictures and artifacts that depict the Indian's daily life at the mission. The men did a variety of jobs having learned from the 
missionaries how to plow, sow, irrigate, cultivate, reap, fresh, and weed. This is a mission, not a small top thing. The Adobe Church of 1809 was destroyed by an earthquake in 1868, and a wooden church was built. A small room in the museum is dedicated to artifacts, pictures, and the Normandy-style parish church built after an 1868 earthquake. The mission cemetery is to the side of the church where the bodies of hundreds of the pioneers from the mission period, Native Americans, Mexicans, and Spaniards alike rescued. The mission church stands as a tribute to those whose efforts made this dream come true. The richly decorated interior follows the descriptions in the historic inventories of the 1830s. In 1985, the restoration of the church was completed by the Committee for the Restoration of the Mission San Jose and the Catholic Diocese of Oakland. It is considered to be a near-perfect replica of the original church. Well, everyone, that wraps up my tour of Mission San Jose. I enjoyed visiting and learning more about its history, and I hope you did too. This is a mission, not a small top thing.